Hey guys, welcome back to About the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about considering subscribing to my channel today, you guys? I have finally, finally seen the Joker, and today I'm gonna talk about it. One small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? And I gotta say, finally. Do I like an origin story? Now this is how you do an origin story. I have said it quite a few times on my channel. I am not a fan of origin stories. I went in a little bit hesitant with this. Well, semi because you know, I've heard nothing but positive things about this movie, but there have been other origin stories that I have heard positive things about. Uh, Batman Begins, or I was not a fan of it. But you know what, Todd Phillips, you did it right. This was great so i'm not really going to talk much about the movie just because it has been out for what like six weeks seven weeks i don't know how many weeks now it's been and you've seen it your mom's seen it your sister your tia your grandma everybody has seen it me finally i'm incorporated into that uh category of seeing the movie if you've seen it you loved it like this video i just came on here tell you guys i finally saw it and just gave you and just give you a few of my thoughts um, joaquin phoenix i mean he's freaking joaquin phoenix like he does such amazing work and like you have heard multiple times prior to the movie coming out during the film coming out and then after that he is like super super picky with all his scripts so why i was a little bit hesitant going into this i don't know because i mean he does fantastic work i really enjoyed his uh take on this particular character which is one of the most iconic comic book villains that there is now unfortunately i cannot compare it to heath ledger's joker and i'll pause for the gasp that's right i've never seen the dark knight i feel that instead of being called joker it probably should be called arthur because it is a character development story and then hopefully if we are to get a sequel which i would love to see um how keen just full on be the Joker in a sequel when he has his henchmen you know we could you know then call it Joker because regardless if it was called Arthur I'm sure people would still be calling it the Joker movie so I don't really feel like it would be much of a confusion now prior to Joker coming out I did watch uh, Robert De Niro's uh, performance in the Kino comedy just so I can kind of get more of a sense of who Robert De Niro was gonna be in the movie now after seeing Joker there really wasn't a reason for me to have seen the movie just because there's no referencing towards the movie or his character in the Joker movie. I mean, the only kind of, I guess, comparison would be um, Arthur's kind of delusional state that Murray had in the first part as far as, I guess I would go more towards the relationship that he had with the neighbor. The only difference with Murray is that he didn't like murder a bunch of people. Honestly, while they were doing the interview, at some point I expected them to bring out the whole kidnapping situation from the prior host. You know what, spoiler alert, because again, the movie has been out for like um some weeks already, so could there really be any more spoilers at this particular time? When he killed Murray, that was the only, <gasps> moment that I actually did throughout the film. I figured he was gonna do something, but I honestly thought he was gonna possibly kill somebody else on stage, but not necessarily him, and he didn't. I was just like, oh my god. I don't know if maybe that came just because I did have the connection with Murray's character from watching the King of Comedy, or if it was just a shocker just because I literally just didn't see it coming. Quite honestly, I did not expect him to kill six people. I really thought, and if you go back to my uh, trailer uh, review, I said, hopefully he kills at least one person. Two tops, but like six people? Mind you, he killed three of them, so I honestly thought I was gonna have to wait till Scoop came out next year to actually enjoy a good origin story, but no, Joker proved me wrong. Look at this. And obviously it's gonna make it on my top 10 list of the year. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make it on my top 10 list of the year. Don't quote me on that, oh my God. You know what, I'm gonna have to put it on here because for sure Endgame is not gonna be on there. I don't have both, I at least have to have one so I don't get any hate from you guys. Let me know down below what you guys thought about the movie. How many times have you seen it since it came out? Cause I'm just all number one, I'm so sad. Like this video if Joker is one of your favorite comic book villains. Like this video if you love the movie. Like this video if you were a fan of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It would be great if you help my channel grow because I love, love, love doing this and I love talking about movies. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!